Greetings and welcome back to Divide and Conquer. I am Sir Algamund and today we are going to pick up where we left off and fight the elven garrison that is at Harland. So let's jump right into it. Now currently I am borrowing a Yeti Nano microphone from um, one of my good friends because I wanted to test this thing out because I was thinking about picking up a, a new mic for myself and so far from what I've heard back and listened to myself on it I really like it so I might look to get one of these for myself later on down the road but you guys let me know as well which one you prefer I'm gonna jump right into this so hopefully they are just they'll probably have the archers on the walls and then we'll see if they have anything else uh, because they only have two units, so I can't imagine they'll have too much of a presence here. Maybe we'll do something with these ladders and see if we can get the crossbows up on the walls. We won't really need the cavalry, but we could use these archers inside the settlement. Okay, so they are on this side, but they're coming down. I'm going to go on time six as we march up. Hopefully they get out of tower range so the tower stops shooting at us. Oh, it looks like they're just going to stand right there. Oh, are they running? I can't really tell what they're doing, although our soldiers are taking many casualties right now. Oh, it looks like they're going to start shooting at us. One cool thing about these elven settlements is that they can actually put their soldiers up on these uh, little elevated walkways. I don't know how these things actually stand up on their own. I feel like the I've physics of it doesn't make sense. But they can run back, I think, yeah, from here at this this corner tower and go to maybe this tower? No, they can't. But they can walk all the way around and just shoot at you from above, and you have to walk all the way to the tower to get to them. Yeah, so we're at 27%. It'll take a couple more, probably take another minute for us to destroy that. Once we have our scouts on the walls, we're just going to shoot down at the bowmen. Try to run our soldiers. Looks like most of the crossbows are already up on the walls. I'm hoping they can skirmish well enough with these bowmen. We'll see how well they do. We're going to take quite a few losses from the uh, from the arrow towers. But we'll try to push them out of the way as soon as we can. Come on, crossbows, get up there. Alright, let's start shooting if we can. They do have shields in the high ground. I'm really hoping that they can skirmish well enough even though they outnumber us like two to one. Now's the time for brave hearts and brave deeds. Okay, drop the ram, drop the ram. Ooh, looks like we got about 12 kills there. I put them into a shield wall and just push in as quickly as we can. We'll even send the merchants in here just to clear up the front because we want to push we want to push back as fast as possible. Oh well, that's not what I want to do. Why don't you guys go up here and take the siege tower while we push in the front. These walls are going to do a lot of damage to us, so we need to clear this fast. We're actually going to pull these guys off the walls and get them to start running to the back of the settlement. Alright, merchants get in there. I need all of you inside the city right now. Your job is just to kill these archers as fast as you can. I think our pikemen can deal with the Lendar guards. Uh, they're doing they're doing really good damage to them. They're killing these archers really quickly. Our men are winning the battle. They just should not have messed with us and they wouldn't be losing their town and their precious elven lives. They have lost half our men. Now we're getting a nice downhill fight on these guys. Our pikes probably push up a little bit more here. 
Let's get in there, lads. Stab, poke, and uh, spear. Can you use spear as an adjective? Well, we're going to spear them no matter what. Oh, come on, crossbows. Ooh, they've taken a lot of losses just from towers. Oh, is this their general? Oh, yeah, it is. So if we can actually kill them, we might make the rest of the, the um, elves route here. Although it looks like we won't even need to worry about that. We've just massacred them over here. I think that's it. Once they stop fighting to the dead, we will have taken the city. And that's it. We did go one for one, but I think for attacking a settlement, that's that's probably worth it. And this is a very cool looking um, loading screen here. I'm not sure what this could be. Oh, you know, this must be the Black Gate, and this must be when the the ring is dropped into Mount Doom. I'm guessing this shadow is supposed to represent Sauron. This is clearly a gate in here, the Man of Gondor, and then that's Gandalf and the Eagles. So that must be what this is, is the fall of Sauron and Mordor. Alright, we have taken Harlan. Should we execute the populace here? We'd kill about 700. And it would fix our public order. I think we'll just try to occupy it and put the taxes on low. Yeah, that's all we need to do. Because the more people we have, the more money we'll get by taxes. Interesting. They didn't even build a pipe hole, so we can't even train our units here. But did they get the blacksmith? What did they get here? Yeah, Master's Bladesmith Guild. Okay, so we'll actually get the um, melee weapon bonus to our troops here. Now, that's, that's interesting, actually. Because I think now that we have that and the one in our capital, both give a plus three bonus to morale globally. So I think we'll have we'll have plus six morale. I'd have to I'd have to maybe check with someone about that, but that's really good actually. Okay, so now all that's left is dealing with Mithlon, and we'll be completely safe in the West. I think we're still allied with Ended Wife. Yeah, they might be our only ally for the time to be. Um, can we, should we build anything there? We do need to get the brewery, so is there anything we can't use here? No, we, uh, we can't use the Teleri barracks, but it does give us public order. I think we'll get rid of it, that way we can get the brewery and start working on increasing the torque of culture in this town. And they still have a decent garrison here. I'm not sure if we could fight this whole army with the nobles and the Amanyar rangers. That might be kind of tough. It will be an honor and plus they have this other you. general. So we'll... Maybe we can ambush them. Can we can we hide in the woods, Grinfar? Perfect. Hopefully if they come on the road, we can ambush them over there. Something to investigate. And I did hear... Um, someone left a comment in part 5. Um, forgive me for not remembering your name. I'll, I will check it again later. But he did say that... We can't get an alliance with the with the other dwarves, because even if we do, they will still have an army that attacks us. But I think that w that happens in another 20 turns, so I think what I'll do is we'll send more reinforcements down to the south. We'll get the Grimborn Reavers in there. We'll send in some extra scouts, some pikemen. We'll just send basically everything that's not free down there right now. We'll use these soldiers to help us take Mithlon, and then we'll be making boatloads of money in this area, and we can then work on not only improving our economy, but perhaps also invading into Angmar again and preparing our defenses for the dwarves. So let's do that. Um, what is his command? So you have six, so you can have 12 units. So that would leave you with uh, that's eight, I think. No, that's nine, so you could have three more, so we'll do... The Erdlund militia and the two scouts here will leave the forgers and the firebeard warriors to go go off somewhere else while he tries to take the city. And I think that's all we can do this turn. I don't think we can recruit anything else, and I don't think we actually have the need to right now. Yeah, I don't see a point, considering how much money we're making. We might look at a ceasefire with Bree, just so that we're not dealing with them right now, but... I think since they did attack us, I think there is no choice but to go to war with them. 
However, ultimately, I'd like to still have the other good factions around while we fight Angmar. Because I don't want to be the only power that's trying to fight them right now. And once we take Mithlond, I think we have no reason to still be at war with the High Elves. We will maybe get a ceasefire with them, but we also won't be seeing them since they're all the way in Imladris. And after we defend our lands, I think that our next step would be to kill Aragorn and reclaim Narsil. And then if Rohan doesn't want to give us their horn, we will head down there as well. Oh no, this is not good at all. Oh no, that is very bad. Okay, so the High Elves did get their last stand army. I am really afraid of that. Noldor veterans, oh my. By Owly, that is a monstrous attack stat. Can we... I think we're going to lose. I don't think we can run back far enough. Yeah, they're just going to chase. Wow, that is... It's a good thing we have another army on the way. Wow. Okay, let's just see how many survive. Not many. We did kill a hundred, though, and that, that certainly helps. Oh, we can't even take that ransom. We don't even have the money. At least Grimfarn is still alive. He has somehow survived that battle. They might go... Yeah, they're going to go retake Forlond. We definitely won't be able to get troops back there in time. I was really hoping they would not get that um that army here, but it appears that they did. Well, it just means we need to train more soldiers. And possibly get a ballista out. That might actually help us right now. I don't even know if the forces we have are going to be enough. I mean, sure, we've got pikemen and we've got crossbows. But that is a whole stack of elves. We do have two extra units of Grimborn Reavers, so there's a chance that if we use them in this battle effectively, then we can take them out. But it's going to be tough, because Grenfard can only... By the rules that we're playing at, he can only have 12 units in his in his army, plus himself, so it would be 13. We might actually need Clan Lord Gore to come down here, because I think he's got more command, and his bodyguard might be a little tankier to, to deal with all of these elves. And it is, it is okay that we, we did kill a um, hundred of them, so that's a hundred less that they'll have in the next battle. Maybe what we can do is we can send more to Forlond, like the crossbows, and just maybe just everyone but Grenfarn, because we want to save him. And we can try to use the towers in that town to do as much damage as we can and weaken that army. I think that is the smartest plan, because there's no way they'll just ignore Forlon. They're definitely gonna gonna come attack it. The Grey Havens have faded, with the Eldar falling back to the very outskirts of the once great Kingdom of Linden, where before the works and majesties of the Elves stood unchallenged and proud, their might has been thrown down, and many of their number have followed their kind across the sea to the Undying Lands. Yet those who remain have gathered together for a single final effort to retake the homes of their forebears. Joining together, this force of Eldar seeks not to go quietly into the west, but to stand, and in memory of their past glories, they will give their all to reclaim what has been lost. Just like how we lost a baggage train. No, oh, Anduin's not doing too well. The One Ring is in Mount Graham. That's actually not too far from us. However, taking that to Mordor and destroying it's going to take a long time. 
Okay, we did get the Ballista Maker in Fahamgothel. Can we train that? Yes, we will take that immediately. I think right now we have to go full military. Oh, Gore actually has even less command stars. That is not what I was hoping for. We should send our Fliplomat to Adaris. <laughs> oh, that's a really funny misspelling. Okay, how are we gonna save this? So... Yeah, I'm sorry guys, you're gonna have to go defend Forland. And I'm wondering if we can sneak Grimfarn out to the east. Maybe just by hiding him into in the trees? If we send him here... That, yeah, that just might work. We'll keep the spies watching this area. Did we, who did we actually take out? Let's see. I'm hoping it took a bunch out of one of their stronger units, but it looks like it probably... I think we took out a couple of these Roquen. Couple, yeah, a bunch of the cavalry actually took losses, as did a couple of the Noldor. Or did they actually replenish more than that? Huh. Well, we will try to group up with our reinforcements. And actually, since we did lose his army, we can get three more. So let's take... That ballista is going to take a minute. I know we're going to need more crossbows and probably firebird warriors. How many pikemen do we have? We have one, two. We only have two pikemen. So I think if we send one crossbow... One pike and one firebeard warriors that might just be enough to help us deal with this army. And what should we build in Faham Gothel? Maybe we get the. Is it too early for the port? We get another. Actually, we get like another hundred gold, which is pretty good. Or we could save up for the great roads and make way more money. We'd have another like 500. So let's try to do that. Maybe we can sell some map information to the men of Anduin. Maybe see if they want trade as well. We would need 1400, I think, for that. Let's see if they'll take this. Ah, uh, thank you, Anduin. Your kindness will not be forgotten. Oh, and we can sell to the elves next turn. This journey is over, time. So we'll start building that, since there isn't really anything else we can recruit that'll be useful, except for forgers. Yes, my king. And maybe we take... Can we take grain out of here? We can. Let's get a watchtower right here. No, I think they still have... Yeah, they do still have those ships, so they could come for Harlan. And that'll be kind of scary if they do that. Buzzard Doom is also really undefended. We need to get the... Miners' quarters build up here so we can get more um, free upkeep. I think we only have one right now. Yeah, only one with the pipe hall. But if we get another free upkeep slot, I'll feel more comfortable about retraining another unit. Oh, Bree, will you get off my land, please? I don't want you here. Oh, that is cool. We can just send our diplomat right through Tharbad. That used to not be a thing. We'll see if we can get that ceasefire. And then we will end it here. And if nothing happens, then I will just cut back to once the intern phase is over. Alright, and we are back. Now, that turn time, it felt like it took two or three minutes. If anyone knows why, if it's maybe it's just version four, or maybe this is just something on my end. I've never had turn times that have lasted this long. But anyway, moving on, uh, sail to Tol Morwen. Of the coast of, off the coast of Ered Luin, there lies on the western islands. Southernmost one is called Tol Morwen, and this is where Turin's grave rests at the base of, of the stone of the hapless. In the grave, there is a precious dwarven relic of the first age, Dragon Helm of Dor Loman. We should acquire a ship and send our spy to the island to locate the grave of Turin and reclaim the helm in our king's name. And so all we have to do is get a ship and a spy over here. Now, let's see, did I get a new spy? We got this spy and we have this one. I don't think we can get a mercenary ship yet. 
Now, those guys did come to um, Linden, or not to, to Linden, to Forland. I will get rid of the brewery here just to get back 500 gold. I don't know, some people play the game of, like, Scorched Earth where they delete everything, but I don't see a reason to, especially because the elves don't have anything to recruit troops here with. So I will keep the buildings there, plus when, we're, when we reclaim it, I don't want it to be completely useless. I don't think we can get any boats yet because I can't get one here, for example. So we'll sit back in that city. We'll retrain a another pikeman here and get the miners' quarters. We'll keep moving down the reinforcements. And what else should we do? We won't really make money by investing in Garth Helagoth. We won't make money from here. Maybe we keep saving our money to build up Thorin's Halls even more. This is going to hurt our income when they do take it. Or when they take um, Forland. Can I get a mercenary ship with you? No, I can't. Yes, send our spy up. Now what did happen is that the elves did put their troops in a boat. And I don't know where that boat went. It's not on the coast. Oh, it's right here. There it is. So yeah, they put a couple... Uh, excuse me, they put a couple of their units in there. So if we can get Grinfar in just a little bit further, maybe right here. Be perfect, he's going to hide in those trees. Now we're going to keep marching down the reinforcements to group up with him. And maybe, maybe we do get like another unit. Or we can just, keep, I think we, if we keep investing in the economy, that's like the most important thing. As soon as we can get these ballistas down there, they'll help us deal with that army. I don't know if we'll be able to finish them off with just this stack. I feel like we can do a lot of damage, but as for finishing them off, I don't think that's going to happen. Right, we're going to try to exploit the elves for some money now. Let's see if we can get 1,500 from them. Oh, looks like we can. So now we're raking in the dough. Good day to you. And then Twalin, we'll move you back up to Bree so that we can try to um, get a ceasefire with them because I don't want to be fighting them right now. They do have one unit right here, but I don't think they actually want a piece of me yet, especially because Angmar is about to they look like they're looking to take uh, Mitchell Delving, and I'm so glad they're not attacking me right now. Right, looks like that's all we can do this time. A very fast turn. It's not a whole lot that I can do right now. I think that will change once we finish off the elves here and we can start mobilizing our troops to the east. But we have to act we have to act swiftly. We want to finish off the hives in this region and then come back to defend our settlements for when the rest of the factions inevitably send their armies at us. Enemy has surrounded us. Our honorless ambushes. Oh, this is not what I was hoping to happen at all. They walked into my ambush somehow. <laughs> We're just gonna auto that and see if Grinfarn can get out alive. Oh jeez, that is not Fall good. Regroup, men. We'll rest here the night. I think he actually lost a command star. Okay, and we are back again really long end turn times um what happened is that w even though i hid um get out of here adoption even though i hid um grinfarn in these trees for whatever reason this guy decided to walk into the trees now even though i was in ambush stance i ended up ambushing him but there was no way we were going to win that battle so i auto resolved it and we killed 26 of them which is not good and we lost 45 of Grinfarn's retinue. Now they will replenish, but still, that is very unfortunate that we're losing money because the elves are forcing these attacks. Okay, we finished the fairground in Thorin's Halls. We are losing money now there. Maybe we get the port? Uh, it's not going to make us too much money. We might do the same thing where we save up for the great roads here because that will make us another like 600, plus we'll be able to move super fast in these regions. Going to bring the come on, where is it? Bring this ballista down south. 
Just get into Huzanar and then move up this way. And then these guys will join up with Renfarn. Now he has a poor ambusher, which means I did lose one command because of the ambushing. So now technically I can only have 10 units, which means I can get one more. But we will see if maybe we can get that back if we uh, end up killing Bel uh, Belruthian here. We'll try to force them to attack us. Now Orin wants to be adopted. Looks like... He would be very good at being a bureaucrat, but where would we even send him? We've got Nar up in the north. I guess Garth Heligoff could use it, or we could send him to Buzzer of Doom. So I think at this time we will take him. Oh, and he's got bonus for a trade, so that is... Yeah, we'll, we'll get Orn into the family. Where is he, Orn? Orn, Orn where are you? Adoption not completed? Are you serious? It would appear that this was not meant to be. Message of your offer of adoption has arrived to the dwarf's brothers in arms, carrying his body to the nearest cave to entomb it in the stone he was born from. Oh no. He suddenly just passed away. He was such a good one too. I can't believe that. Maybe he was supposed to spawn in four lawns and now we can't get him. That is so unfortunate. I, I can't even believe that. We really needed that. Well, some things are not meant to be, I guess. Right, well, we did finish the brewery here in Harlan, so we will... Oh, man. I want to... I know I want to build up in Thorin's Hall, but we do have extra money right now. So let's get the pipe hall so we can get maybe some free upkeep be able to retrain our units. And we'll retrain another unit in Buzzard Doom and send up the pikemen to reinforce some Grain's army there. Just so have, in case they take ships and attack us, we'll be able to have a better garrison over there. And we'll get another laborer here in Under Towers, just in case that um, the High Elves come for us there. All right, now, Bree, will you take a ceasefire? It's very demanding, so they do not want to do that. So we won't bother yet. Maybe if they get um, too messed up by Angmar, they'll change their mind. Next, we'll go to Dale and see if they'll take um, trade with us. Now, looks like this is already generous, so we'll see if they'll get... Um, we can get 2,000 from them. Their wealth is only meager, so they might not do that. Um, and that means they have around 1,000 or so gold. Let's see here. No, No, they don't want to take Another that. Let's try a map information and 1,000. Okay, so they have that much. Usually I think when the wealth says meager, yeah, they're already bankrupt, so they did not have that much money. We'll keep working on our map-based economy as long as we can. And we'll get another spy here. Or, well, should we? So we'll make 3,000 next turn. And then we can start on those roads. Alright, so we're going to end turn and see if the elves attack us. I'm really hoping they do, because I need to um, get that command star back to Grinfarn and then also take Mithlond. Alright, we are back. So Mladris is besieged. I wonder if that's why they got their last stand. Maybe they lost some settlements in the east. Angmar is mighty. Care Andrus is under attack for like the probably the 55th time this whole campaign. Our relations are good with uh, with Rohan, but maybe not for long. My king. And so they are still besieging Forlond, and I'm actually losing money because of that. Wow. The devastation is causing me to lose income from this town instead of gaining it. That is unfortunate for our economy. However, now we have enough for the Great Road, so we're going to get that out of the way. And now, Mithlond, uh, they have opened up a pathway for a power of cheese that we are going to exploit. 
if we kill off these armies out here in the field, we will be able to take this city absolutely free. And so, I plan to do that, because these are desperate times. I always make sure that I'm saving on the correct one, because I've had multiple campaigns lost to me saving over the wrong name. Alright, and here we go into it. Now, Grinfarn isn't at its full strength, but hopefully after this battle and some time to recover, he will regain some of his soldiers. The maximum replenishment is 77, and I want all of those when the High Elf army comes back this way. Let's see what he has to say about this battle. Pick up your swords now, laddies, and give them a cheer. This will be a bonny battle. This will be a bonny battle. <laughs> this will be a bonny battle indeed. <laughs> I don't even know what the meaning of that word is. Maybe it means good. Oh, we don't want to send those troops in. So we've got cro we got three crossbows, two pikes. Okay. So let's do one pike like that. We're gonna do a chevron formation. We're not a chevron, like a staggered staggered line formation with our crossbows like this, and then support them with the Eridluin militia. Put those guys in the center, and then have Grimborn Reavers on the flanks. A nice uh, symmetrical battlefield here. Let's have. We'll just put them all in one group. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. And we will start to march forward. We don't want them to get their reinforcements um, to the battle before we're ready. Let's see, we are against pikemen, Mithlon nobles, Amanyar swordmasters, and then looks like they have two units of mariners, one Lindar bowman, and then their general in the back, whose name I have forgotten. The reinforcements are coming from behind us, so we'll have time to prepare for that, although it is only two units. They do have archers though, so we'll need to definitely switch our scouts to fire at them once we are, once they're in range. Make sure everyone's running here. Looks like only the pikemen aren't running, but that's okay. Actually, no, we will have them run. We need to have everyone get up here as quickly as possible. We're going to start opening up fire onto the long spears. We'll take the shots from the uh, bowmen. I'm not too worried about that. We do have the armor upgrade, so that puts us to eight armor and two shields. So that's ten total defense against these missiles. Yeah, one whole volley didn't do any bit of damage to us. So we'll try to coax them into us here. Ideally, it would be better to shoot at the uh, sword masters. So maybe we we'll get these um, Erdluin scouts over on this side. And we'll try to start shooting at those. Those and the Mithlon nobles need to go, as do the Lindar mariners. So I'm wondering if the Linden longspears are even worth us shooting at them. They're more of just they're more of just going to be uh, an annoyance than anything. So yeah, we'll move up our crossbows to shoot at the uh, sword masters. Those ones I'm more worried about, and we can do a lot of damage to them. We'll try to get these guys out in the flanks as well. Maybe we should shoot at the Mithlon nobles. How much of a shield value do they have? They do have a shield of six. Uh, watch as these crossbow bolts just come straight in. Oh, wow, the guys are in the back are getting to us really quickly. I'm going to have to peel off a unit to deal with those. We'll keep skirmishing with them for now. Because that's the game that the elves wish to play with us. I don't think we've killed any Mithlon nobles. Uh, a couple have died, actually. A few bodies hit by stray arrows. There's a couple more. Yeah, as you can see, even though they've done probably... Six or seven volleys, they've only killed a couple of them. Just keep shooting at these swordmasters. Now that they've walked in front of their long spears, they'll be absorbing most of the fire. 
We'll just keep watching as the ball leads come in. I think it's beautiful. Oops. Uh, they are taking a lot of damage now. We'll start to move the pikemen up. And maybe, we, yeah, we'll need to get the, uh, the other units to attack those mariners as soon as we can. Let's get into a tighter line there, dwarves. Trimesters are only down to 83. Oh, looks like the mariners are going to come in. Let's charge those. Oh, they might be throwing javelins. Oh, yeah, they're going to throw javelins into our scouts. That's going to do more damage than I'd like to take. Alright, now we just need to have all of our units fire in at the general over here. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Alright, so they're taking a while to get into us, so we're going to send these Grimborn Reavers up to the front. And hopefully we can get some good shots in on the, uh, on the, uh, not the, not the nobles, but the, uh, the Calaquendi lords here. Try to get them out of there. We'll keep shooting the archers with those units. And we'll get the scouts on this flank. They're just standing back there, so maybe we just keep pushing in on this on this side here. Because Mython Noble is going to do a lot of damage to our pikemen, since they are flanking them, which is not good. We need to get a spear wall over here. Oh, looks like they are going to attack our Calaquendi lords there. I just want to get a complete surround with the... Uh, the Grimborn Reavers. I don't know, what are you guys doing? Get into formation. Like these good lads are doing. I think they're still ignoring my archers. I think, yeah, they're still trying to fight the militia, so let's pull those guys out and just keep shooting shots into those. And I think we'll just have to go the into the wide flank bloody. here. Yeah, we need to support our pikemen right now. We need as many of those alive for the next battle as possible. Keep shooting into the Mithlon Nobles. They are resisting a lot of the damage that we're throwing at them, but we are holding them in place for now. Now get in there. Get in there, Grimborn Reavers. I need you to kill them. I need you to kill all of them right now. Now they charge right now. Come on. I want every I want every strike to kill an elf. Uh, we did get a, we did kill off, or route off one of the units, so this is good. Oh, come on, quit following me. These pikemen might be done for. And we'll see if we can maybe move our crossbows in to flank them, since these Calaquendi lords don't want to give up on us. Oh, are they just going to charge me? I guess I have no choice but to shoot at the Lindor Bowman. Now where's our other pike? Then we need to get them all on these units and then get just all of our soldiers to surround the Mithlon nobles now. We need to rebuild our phalanx over here. Now we'll shoot another shot into the flank of these units and then we'll try to kill their general over here by sniping him.
I, I just want every every single person to shoot at these. I think the Mithlon Noble should fight to the death here. Right, can we kill off this general? I think I'll, I think these volleys from three units should be able to do it, although they are incredibly tanky. I don't like how 50 bowmen are getting away. Come on, can you guys get one more shot off? How close are we to killing off the nobles? Oh yeah, they're falling. They're just a mosh pit of dwarves and elves fighting to the death. Ooh, and another single elf goes down to one volley. I don't want these to be shooting. They're too close. Oh, after the Lindar Bowman did come back, though, we can shoot at those. And all that's left is their general here. All we need to do is kill him, and then we will... Um, we should be able to wrap up this battle. Did they finish the fight? No, there's still a couple nobles fighting. I'll just shoot the rest of these Lindar Bowmen, and then go into melee. Are you guys shooting or not? I mean, I know he's technically in melee with you guys, but I think I think they can shoot, especially if they're fighting. Yeah, I think he's he's just out of range that they can, or just in range that they can shoot. The yep, there he goes. He was a brave elf, but a foolish one. Velrothian. Yeah. All right, now all we need to do is posture up to sh um, kill the rest of the incoming elves. For whatever reason, they decided not to join the fight, and that might have been their doom. Just watch as the last few uh, Lindar Bowmen go down. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. And so we're gonna reform our army. On time six, let them walk and recover some stamina. But for the most part, they're all not too bad. Oh, these pikemen only have nine. That is not good. We will let's recall the pikemen out of the out of the following fight and try to save them. Oh, oh. Oh, no, slow down. Not, not that much. Alright, we need all of our scouts to be shooting at these guys now. I think it's just going to be a shootout now. Where's our other scouts? Oh, yeah, Pikeman, get out of there, please. I no longer wish you guys to fight. Now, the only true weakness of the scouts is that they don't have the best accuracy on the um, on the Arid Luin roster. So we'll pull up our, our units a little bit more. We do need to save some shots to take out the Calaquendi Lords. However, I think if we try to charge them, they'll just run away in skirmish mode, so I'm going to need to just keep doing this. Alright, and now we're going to see if we can collapse in on them. I think we'll just catch them, yeah. These bowmen are done for. We'll get a nice firing line set up with the, um, the crossbows here. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we get will in their smash doors. the enemy. Enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Get a point blank shot into the Calaquindy Lords. Oh, looks like it only took out a couple of them. Let's we'll see if we can recruit these crossbows. Not recruit, but, but um, retreat and try to finish off the Lindor Bowman here. I just don't want any, especially this force, because they are the ones from the town. If any of them survive, then 
they might um, go back to defending the city. Form up crossbows. Come on, run faster than that. I know you're stunty, but you can surely sprint a little faster. Try to pull out our dwarves so that they don't get um, shot up. And we'll use the rest of the Grimborn Reavers to help us win the rest of this fight. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. Just a bunch of shots in the flanks of shielded units. We'll speed it up here. So we just watch them get massacred by crossbows. Oh, weird how they're still going for the um, for the militia here. Look how our cowardly oh. oh, this is not good. We need to we need to kill them right now. We need to kill them. If they get, if this is a general, so if he gets through, then oh no, they might get, they might be able to defend this city. I'm gonna be really upset about that. Is he in the back? Please tell me he's the one in the back. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to catch up. Might catch a couple of them. Yeah, the elves are just too fast. Well, we'll see if we happen to get lucky, but if he gets away, I think he's just gonna run back to the city. Yeah. Well, we tried. This is a clear victory. That damn elf just managed to get away. I think I had the Grimborn Reavers too close to him, and they just, um, they gave him too much fear, and that penalty just made him run away. Well, the good thing is that we've weakened them a little further, so it'll be it'll be slow before they can re retrain their armies. But I think that reinforcing army is going to make it back to the city. Well done, Execute the survivors, and yeah, he is still in there with just twelve. I am not too happy about that. Oh, we have no choice now but to just attack the city and hope that they don't get a garrison there. Oh, that'll do it for this episode, um, and until we meet again, make sure you guys are taking enough alcohol to kill anything that might create a bad ale to you, and make sure you are following proper social distancing protocols. Until next time.